Probably one to start out by asking. Obviously, there's big news about another Spanish player that made a pretty good mark here in San Marcos. Obviously, announced his retirement a couple of days ago. Just kind of your thoughts on that and what he's meant to the organization and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, he's had a head of a career. I can't even describe it. Uh, you know, you just watching what he's done speak by the, like to itself. But obviously, for me, growing up from Spain, seeing what he did. It's really insane. It's, it's He has had the career that not many people have. And for me growing up and now being a Grizzly like he, um, it's just amazing, man. Uh, I really wanted to congratulate him and just, you know, let him know that what he's meant to me is, is incredible and he's inspired me for sure. Was he the Gasol brother, I guess, that you kind of grew up watching more of? I know you talked about him some, but I know Powell was uh, probably a little bit, you know, 2002, that range. Like, I guess, how would you describe uh, that element of it? Like, growing up watching Mark Gasol, I know you talked about that some. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, I've always said, you know, I started watching the NBA with Powell and the Lakers, but, like, really, when I like, I was older and I actually could watch some more games, it was with Gritting Ride and Grizzlies with Mark, obviously, and then with the national team, you know, the last uh, the last time I saw him play was the World Cup where he had, you know, a great performance. And, yeah, I mean, I, I loved him. Like, I loved his game, like his IQ, everything. So so I'm sad that he's retiring, but obviously that time comes. And, man, just just knowing I'll, I'll be here for the retirement ceremony is, is special for sure. Sanchez, I know uh, you've been in with this franchise, and I know you're not new to the league. You've been, you've been in a lot of close games lately. Has it been encouraging or frustrating down the stretch not being able to close that game? I think both. I mean, right now, frustrating. Once I go to sleep, wake up, it's encouraging. I think, you know, the fact that we're in close games means a lot. Like, we've had guys in and out, and we were staying together. Obviously, we just got to find ways to do it. You know, they got, uh, I mean, a couple easy threes, then, you know, this rebound, easy dunk. We got to find ways to do it, but like it's a, it's a learning process. Like obviously we're not happy about you know giving up a wide open dunk at the end or whatever. But yeah, like I said, it's one day at a time. We're we're all learning. We're we're young, and you know we're we're just trying to fight hard. And I think we're doing that. Um, Santi, just you know throughout the whole season, but especially the past month, you know a lot of guys been out of the lineup. You've been in and out of the lineup as well, and. You know, coach had talked about guys playing different roles, having to get used to playing different roles. How have you seen you grow in your game over this past these past this past season, really, and just having to play all these different roles? Yeah, I think just focusing on like the little things, uh, knowing you know what coach wants, what the team needs, and just trying to do that every day. Obviously, sometimes I play the three, four, five, whatever, and you, I know different lineups with guys playing different positions as well. So it's kind of learning on the fly on that end. But at the end of the day, you got to focus on a couple things. And obviously, rebounding is a factor. One-on-one -on -one defense is a factor. And that's something I take pride in. And you know, I've been guarding some tougher matchups lately. So I think that's good for, for me, for my development. And obviously, I'm, I'm trying to get wins here. But like at the same time, I'm trying to learn. And you learn by guarding the best, really. All right. Thank you.